So here we are in Figma. I created a new project. It has two pages, one for the screens and one for the icons. I already prepared a couple of items, notification, shopping cart, payment icon and a profile. These are just four demo icons that I want to put together into a menu at the footer of the page. So on the screens, let's create a new frame as a screen. And I give it the dimensions of an iPhone 13 Pro. And I call it my home page. Right. So in terms of screen design, I want at the top of my home page um, a header that just states the name of my application. So I create a rectangle in here and stretch it all the way to the top and both sides. Now I need to tie that to the left and the right and the top fixed position when scrolling and I give it a nice uh, color than this one. Maybe some orange like this. All right. So that works. And what I'm going to do is I turn that into a component. I drag it out of the screen, change it to a component. I give this component a name that I call it header and inside my home page I will just drag this in put that all the way in the corners and make sure it stretches from left and right tied to the top fixed position when scrolling and let's see how that looks like in a simulated phone Very basic, but that's how it starts. Now I want to add the name of my application to the header and I will not add it on the screen, but right into the component. And I call my component workbench. And I stretch this all the way across and it's already centered and I tie it to the bottom of it. Yes, maybe a bit bigger. All right. Does it look better? A bit bold? A bit. All right. So these changes are already automatically replicated to the screen. And if I had multiple screens using this component, it would be used across all of these. So that would be the, the title of my page. Okay, so it's rendered slightly strange, but the logic is okay. Now, same thing I will do on the menu. So on the footer side, I will add a menu. Let me zoom out a little bit. I create another rectangle and um, I change it to a component. I call it my footer. I give it the same orange color that I used before. And in my home page, I add the footer component. And I tie it also to the bottom of the page. I need to make sure it goes from left to right and it's tied to the bottom fixed position when scrolling. So when I scroll on the content, these are tied to its position. Good. Now, of course, the menu items are missing. So I will add them after uh, adding an auto layout from left to right. I will add them in the center and not packed, but space between. 
So now I can slide in these menu items right here. The first one, of course, uh, in the center, and then they're spread out. And you see it's already replicated on the screen. Now I'd want to change the order. Uh, first you get a notification, then you need to put it in your shopping cart. Oops, and then you need to to buy it. And the profile goes on the very left. So I'll switch these two. All right. Good. And Actually, I changed the layout to stick them on the top. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it looks weird glued to the top. So I rather have them centered out. And this one slightly smaller. And that's how I want my application to look like. All right, so much about this application in Figma. And in my next video, I will show you how to rebuild exactly the same in Flutter and run it on an actual phone then. So follow for more. Have a great day.